Hello ACL friends, uh, it's Neil here, good to see you again. This video is about which graft you should select. So obviously th this is actually going to um, be a decision that you need to take before surgery, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but it's actually also going to have a major effect on the recovery time that you see. And there are some trade-offs within, uh, within this choice as well. Now basically there are two main choices, the first of which is the autograft <clears throat> and that means that in surgery your existing ACL will be removed and will be replaced by a piece of tendon either taken from your patella or from your hamstring. Now in general terms the autograft will be a slower recovery time option then the second one, which I'm going to talk about in a second, which is allograft, but in theory it should provide a stronger resultant ACL um, post-surgery than an allograft would. So choice number one here, the autograft, longer recovery time but a stronger ACL. And then within these there are differences between the patella tendon and the hamstring. And the patella uh, tendon is essentially, it's a piece of the patella ligament that is taken out of your patella and used to replace the ACL. And that's why sometimes, uh, as I say, recovery is going to be longer because now you've got a second injury to recover from, not just the ACL surgery, but the patella itself. Same thing with the hamstring. But what the patella does that the uh, hamstring doesn't is it's it's a better match of tissue and it allows bone to bone healing um, so this probably is the strongest of all graft types but it has the downside of potentially leading to knee pain in future years the hamstring uh, this is where two tendons are taken from the hamstring they're actually bound together and they are used to replace the removed ACL now this type of graft doesn't facilitate bone to bone healing so the healing time will actually be longer than with the patella tendon anyway you still have this second site injury that I mentioned before but the advantage of the hamstring over the patella is that this does not typically come with knee pain in future life whereas the patella graft will so the second type main type of graft that I wanted to mention is the allograft and this is where the ACL um, is not replaced with tissue taken from your own body, but it's actually taken from a cadaver, i.e. a poor dead person. Um, so the positives of the allograft versus the autograft are that you will recover quicker. And you will recover quicker because you only have one injury site. The downside is... Um, that this type of graft is said not to be as strong as the two autograft types. Other incidental benefits are that with an allograft you'll spend less, less time in surgery and it will be less painful post-surgery because it actually uses a smaller incision. So they're the, the two main choices. Autograft, which is going to take a longer time to recover. Uh, some choices to be made within that between a patella and a hamstring. But the autograft should give you a stronger ACL post-surgery. And the allograft, which has got a very quick um, recovery time, but a slightly weaker uh, ACL afterwards, in theory. Now, in my case, I chose a cadaver um, because I wanted to recover quickly. I had to go back to work. Um, and also, I wasn't a professional, I'm not a professional athlete, so I wasn't so worried about the strength of the ACL afterwards. I obviously wanted to go ski again and do all of that kind of good stuff. But, you know, I kind of figured, yeah, autograft is going to take me, you know, much, much longer to recover. I don't really need that in my life. I need to go back to work. I need, you know, I need to get back into my daily life. And, okay, I've done my ACL now. I'll buy a brace and I'll ski in the brace. Now, in other videos, you'll hear me talk about um, your rehab not just being for the six months after surgery, but being for life. Uh, and one of the issues that I had was that when I actually did ski again, 
I didn't follow that mantra and I rehabbed for six months and then basically did nothing for the two or three months after that and before I skied. Consequently, I ended up with a lot of pain in my knee and I ended up going back to uh, my surgeon just to make sure that, that I hadn't retorn my ACL. And the reason for telling you this is uh, I was put on a, a special machine that tests the strength of your ACL uh, and in actual fact the strength of my new ACL, the cadaver graft, was stronger than the strength of my other knee ACL. So all of what I've just said to you about, in theory, the allograft provides a weaker ACL. In my case, it actually resulted in an ACL that was stronger than my good knee. So need to uh, think about that as well. I mean, certainly, I, you know, I would say if you're not a professional athlete, I would definitely go for a cadaver graft and, and do it that way. But uh, choice is yours. I've talked about the options available to you. Uh, if you need more information, then as ever, go to my website, aclrecoverysecrets.com. If you have any questions uh, or comments on this particular video, then feel free to leave a comment in the box just below this uh, video. Okay, take care. Until next time.